hey cali gang what it do welcome back and first thing is first please like comment subscribe the bell notification so you know if i just want to post kept up to date to help your girl's dreams come true becoming a full-time youtuber all right first thing is first let's shout out to the shade room juicy talk radio one no iron line org uh chronicle speaks uh obducen uh, underscore 175 level up hip-hop um, reality entertainment tv and the neighborhood talk for the screenshots and information that i'm gonna use all right first thing is first we are gonna get into this erica minna and safari train wreck all right i am at a loss for words all right but this is just a crazy situation the only people i feel sorry for is the children all right these two people are toxic and that's all i have to say for right now for this second all right but first thing the next thing all right we are going to be getting into two articles all right by the shade room all right the first one is um erica minna reacts after safari challenges her deadbeat baby deadbeat baby daddy allegations all right and then the second article all right, and then the next article is Erica Minna sharing a video of her and Safari's daughter alleging he mistreated their son. All right, I do not like this. This is really heartbreaking. It is sad. Like, I just, I hate this. Like, this makes me so sad. All right, um, but let's get into the first article. All right, y'all, so let's get into the first article. All right, Erica Minna reacting to Safari's challenge of her deadbeat dad whole situation by ashley rushford dropped today all right woo mm -hmm. roommates the drama between erica and safari shows no signs of ending all right erica had words for her ex-husband after he recently released footage on youtube of previous incidents between them his call out comes ahmed erica's reaction to his reported request to lower child support for their son and daughter additionally Mena has shared her alleged calendar marking the time with each parent spent with the child with the kids in 2024. She pointed out that Safari mm -hmm. only had been allegedly with their children 16 times during this year. All right. Safari shares footage on home camera of the altercation with Erica Mena. As y'all all know, the formal couple has clashed over the years, allowing their issues to play out on social media and reality TV. On Wednesday, October 16th, Safari Summary released a storyline on video on YouTube called The Truth About Being a Deadbeat Slash My Truth Revealed. In a clip at the start of the video, Safari claims he's on the phone with police while Erica shoves him in the face in front of their son and daughter. Another clip shows Erica banging on the glass door in the video. He expresses his eagerness to share everything and his decisions to, to stop being quiet. He says, and I quote, I love my kids and I've gotten to the point that I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse because mm -hmm. I'm dealing with someone whose anger management is just non-existent, Safari said. Y'all, I, anyway. Safari discusses the restraining order against Erica and defends claims of not being a dead bad, deadbeat dad. In the YouTube video, Safari also discusses getting a restraining order against Erica after the footage shows her climbing the fence with a ladder. I will insert footage later in the video if I haven't already. However, he said he couldn't pursue the restraining order since he attended his son's birthday, where Erica Minna was present, raising doubts about the need for a restraining order. Additionally, he also claimed that Erica sent an explicit photo to his mother and sister in an effort to prove that they were still actually active in the adult way. However, he says that's no longer the case. Safari continued to defend his reputation as a dad, sharing details about a summer with the kids. The television star said that they attended summer camp for only three days because Erica Minna was because Erica was opposed to it. He backed up his decision to enroll his kids in the camp by showing what their activity schedules would have been and a gift uh, his daughter for his son during the short enrollment period. Also, he claimed he paid $2,000 for the camp. He said, and I quote, it was such a controlled thing and created such drama. Nothing made absolute, nothing made absolutely any sense. It was such, it was such an irate, ignorant conversation to the point where we didn't speak directly, he exclaimed. He further explained that no deadbeat would go to the effort of making their home comfortable for their kids. He then panned the camera to show 
a space filled with pictures of him and his children and highlight and highlighted his daughter's decor bedroom. He said, and I quote, deadbeat dads ain't doing this. Mm-hmm. It's so insane to me how people just, yeah, you're a deadbeat. I know about real deadbeats and this situation is all about control, unquote, says Safari. Wow, this whole situation is crazy, y'all. All right, but let's get into the second. All right, sorry, guys. The audio cut out on me. Let's get into the second article by The Shade Room. Eric ministers a video of their daughter saying that their uh, son was mistreated by their dad. All right, so um, this article was written by Cassandra S. It dropped today, October 17th of 2024. All right, on Wednesday, Safari attempted to clear the deadbeat dad allegations by his child's mother, Erica Mena. He shared home footage of past incidents with his ex-wife, and he soon clapped back with their heated words. Not even 24 hours later, Erica Mena released a video of their daughter, Sapphire, alleging that her dad mistreated her brother and their son, Legend. Erica and Safari's daughter says he did this. In a video Erica shared, their daughter is speaking from a car seat to her mother, who asked, what did daddy do? Sapphire responded, daddy kicked him, my brother, with two legs, then he threw him around. Mena followed up the child's story by asking, when was this? And Sapphire responded, at my daddy's. Sapphire continued explaining that she allegedly saw her daddy kick her brother, who then fell off an unspecified place. Erica also asked Sapphire to explain why Saf- why Safari Samuels kicked Legend. The child said it was because he got a boo boo. Additionally, Sapphire said her dad told her he is not Legend's father. In the caption of a now deleted post, Erica explained <clears throat> explained the clip and promised her supporters that she would explain the home footage and allegations Safari made in his YouTube expose. And Erica says, and I quote, I've been sparing him for so long. His triggering, violating, and BS he has been doing for three years, she wrote, adding to only show my reaction to your actions, but failing to tell what it is you <laughs> you about behind closed doors and textbook narcissist mm. at its finest. For Sapphire to speak so clear on the things that you are doing and tell her baby brother saying that legend isn't your son, which is probably why you thought of mistreating him in your home since he was a baby and no one or with no one around, how could you forget all of these parts? <clears throat> Safari Samuels has yet to react online to the mistreatment allegations that Erica filmed, and I will be inserting that right now. What did daddy do? Daddy kicked him. My brother with two legs. Then he fell in the ground. When was this? And, and my daddy. Yeah. When you was with daddy? Really? I saw him the fall off. I saw my daddy kick him and fall off. And who fell off? And did daddy, why, why did daddy kick him? Because he got boo-boo. Who got, led you got a boo-boo? I mean, she told my mommy you, he got boo-boo like that. Wow. And this was in daddy's house? Wow. Yes, that's not my daddy's, that's not my brother's father. That's not your brother's father? <laughs> Who said that? Daddy. Daddy? What did, uh, what did daddy do? to some more screenshots and screen recordings on some of this drama all right and one thing is for sure i cannot feel bad 
for Erica or Safara because they both made this bed the only thing and people I feel sorry for are these kids all right point blank period um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, so pay attention to the screen. There's going to be screenshots from both sides and screen recordings. Um, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. All right, y'all. So we're going to get into some screenshots from Erica Mena. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just going to go on a little bit of a rant, let you guys read the screen. Y'all, this whole situation is crazy to see. Like, it is just a lot going on. He said, she said, his hurt, he said, she said, and the only people that know the truth are, you know, God, like, because at the end of the day, each person has their own perception of what happened, all right, and I do agree with Erica a little bit, like, Safari is, like, of course, saying all the bad things that she's doing, but what about all the things that he did bad to her to get her to this point, you know what I mean, like, I'm just saying, it's just crazy to think about but i feel terrible for these kids you guys like for real no kid deserves this and then with the whole um you know safari not having the kids as much as erica how do they not have split custody if that's what it is but at the end of the day you have to think about it i don't think erica lives in atlanta i think she lives in new york and then i don't think i don't know if safari lives in atlanta or he's in miami or where um, but yeah, it's just crazy because of course everyone's going to have their own evidence as you see in my video and a lot of pe other people's videos. Saf Safari has evidence, uh, Erica has evidence, like it's just, he said, she said, but it sucks that it's brought to the internet. All right. And it's crazy because we're all just going to sit and watch and comment, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of it. And so is everybody else. But at the end of the day, we don't mean any harm. We're just getting the information out there and I'm not on anyone's side. All right. I'm on the kid's side all day every day all right team kids over here okay um but let me know what you guys think um are you guys on anyone's side i'm just genuinely curious i do feel like nobody should put their hands on anyone if you feel like you're get to that point leave the room leave the premises just get away from the person um because you know bringing in domestic things hurting anyone putting your hands on other people is just a point that does not need to be reached in any way shape or form and this is causing trauma to the kids and everyone involved like it's it's crazy but i hope you guys enjoy the video please like comment subscribe with the bell notification so you know if i just when i post good up to date we are on the road to 5k all right next goal let's freaking go y'all